The gentleman yields back. The, uh, the gentleman from California is recognized. I love following my colleagues from California because it gives me so many more things to talk about. You know, uh, Congressman Schiff, you and I came into Congress together 20, almost 24 years ago. We've seen a lot. We've seen a lot in this committee. But whenever I'm in a markup and one side wants to talk about something that's not on the table and the other side says, well, why don't we talk about what's on the table, the whole thing gets lost. Well, I want to bring it back to what is really at stake here. This committee has subpoenaed an individual in which there is a substantial amount of information related to the wrongdoing of not just himself, but potentially the President of the United States, the then Vice President of the United States. That's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with an investigation of the then Vice President of the United States and his son, who had special access, who flew on Air Force Two, who today had the committee room next to us swept so he could come in and make a little staged appearance. We're not dealing with a private individual, as my colleague from California said. He's not a private individual. He is the son of the president. He is a man who has flown around the world using his last name, his last name being his father's last name, to make millions of dollars, much of which he hid from the IRS and didn't pay his taxes on. That's who we're asking to come in a private session, not a staged public event, and answer questions if he will. As a gentlelady from uh, Indiana said, Ms. Sparks, um, I said he might or probably would take the fifth. He hasn't said he'd take the fifth. That would be an assertion that his, his, he, his people could make and that the chairman would look at that. What he has done is simply thumbed his nose at the American people and at this body. It's that simple. It has nothing to do with what went on in the last Congress. It has nothing to do with what went on years ago in the election of President Biden. And yet one side would have you hear about Jim Jordan not showing up for a committee that he sent letters back to telling him why he needed to know things and he wanted to negotiate his appearance, which is not uncommon for any witness, particularly a member of Congress asked about his private conversations between him and the President of the United States. We all know the President of the United States has an absolute right to ask for and receive information in confidence, and we have been told for years on both sides of the aisle that we do not have access to that correspondence related to decision-making of a President, and yet we are acting like they're the equivalent of somebody who has committed crimes, Hunter Biden, who has used his position as the son of the president to fly to China, make business deals, and then fly home with daddy on Air Force Two. We are clearly looking at somebody who has done wrong, has used his family name to do wrong, but more importantly, we are looking at whether or not there was a connection uh, in funds flowing to the president and or the president, then vice president, taking action as a result of funds flowing to he or other family members. It's that simple. We are doing a serious investigation of real wrongdoing, and an individual who has done wrongdoing, no question about it, is refusing to come, but has the, as the congressman who's no longer here from Tennessee says, he has the chutzpah to show up in the committee room next door or use the Secret Service to do so, just as before the break, he showed up across the Capitol using Congressman Swellwell's name to get himself a place to have a staged press conference while we sat in this room waiting for him to show up, all the court reporters, the chairman, the ranking members doing their job because we expected him to show up as subpoenaed for a deposition. So let's get back to the basics. This is a contempt because he has been contemptible of not just not showing up, but how he has thwarted and, and given us the middle finger, if you will, to the American people. And when somebody flips the bird to the American people or the United States Congress 
or to the power of legitimate government actions, yes, that's what referral for contempt to the federal court should be, and I insist on it, and with that, I yield back. Gentleman yields back. Uh, the chair recognizes the gentleman from Maryland.